Hi, this is my latest 3x3 three three, uh, puzzle modification. Uh, it consists in 3x3 um, three three ropes and parts of Space Odyssey, which is a game invented in about the year 1999 or 2000, I don't remember, uh, which consists in making a track for marble. And uh, the structure uh, on which you have to make the tracks is uh, this one. This is the one I used. And uh, so there are plastic rods and balls in which you make the plastic rods hold. And uh, so uh, I linked the corners of the Rubik's Cube to the corners of the cage. So, um, so that when you turn it, strings get tangled. And sometimes you just can't move it anymore. For example, as you can see here, it won't move because it's really tangled. So that was only four moves. So you can imagine that this puzzle is really hard to solve. I barely can't put it back together. Okay, here it is. So um, this puzzle uh, first was shown by uh, W on the Twisty Puzzles forum. Uh, he he showed the idea before he well right after I uh, posted it on Shapeways, posted a, a two by two version on Shapeways. So he didn't really have time to see mine, and I didn't have time to see his. So we kind of both have uh, the rights for this puzzle, and this is why I made my two by two version with uh, short ropes. So um, why did I use short ropes? Uh, simple reason. If I used long ropes, there would have been a lot of knots, so it would have made it almost impossible. Especially that, like, the more knots there are, the less you can turn it, and uh, it would have been almost impossible to grab also because of the, the high quantity of knots. And this is why I put small strings. But uh, it doesn't make the puzzle any easier because uh, if you scramble it, like just a bit, the puzzle gets tangled, so you really can't. Like many moves are blocked, so it's it's so hard. And um, as you can see, I same as last time. Um, in uh, the last video, well, I tried to make another video, but I failed because in five moves I totally scrambled it and I barely couldn't put it back together, so I had to disassemble it. So that was kind of a failure. Um, so. Um, this is a, still a, a very complicated puzzle, uh, and um, well, I'm just going to show you the checkerboard pattern, which doesn't really affect the corners or the ropes. So it's like one of the only patterns you can actually do without getting everything tangled. Um, yeah, so it's a very easy pattern. I might sell um, this puzzle on eBay, but. Um, with uh, one set of small ropes and one set of big ropes, so uh, so that you well the 